Hello everyone and welcome to the Shrimpy channel. In this video we're going to continue our tutorial series on how to build a crypto trading bot. This video is going to focus on how to access balance data from any of the major cryptocurrency exchanges. In order to get started we need to install the Shrimpy Python library. I'm going to go ahead and do that quick here. You can see I've already installed this library. So let's get into actually building our Python script. So we're going to type Python here. And then the first thing we're going to want to do is import Shrimpy. So this will import the Shrimpy library so that we can start using it. In order to build our script, we're going to need two different sets of API keys. The first is the exchange public key and exchange secret key. These can be generated on the exchange that you want to use for this tutorial. So for me, I used uh, Bitrix, so that means I logged into Bitrix, I generated my API keys, and then I have securely stored them so that we could use them in this demonstration. And then the other set of API keys that we're going to need for this uh, tutorial is the Shrimpy API keys. So in order to get these API keys, you're going to want to go to Shrimpy and sign up for your developer API account. And the way that you do this is go to developers.shrimpy.io or you can go to shrimpy.io and then select developers. Once you have signed up and logged into your account, you will see a, a place where you can generate your API keys. So go ahead and generate those keys. And once you've generated them, make sure you have enabled both the user and the account permissions. Both of those permissions will be required in order to continue through this tutorial. Once you've done all those things, you can come back and we can finish this tutorial. Okay, great. Now that we have our Exchange and Shrimpy API keys, let's go ahead and paste them uh, into our terminal here. You can see I have the Shrimpy public key, the Shrimpy secret key, the Exchange public key, and the Exchange secret key. Now we should create the client. This client is the thing that will manage the communication with the Shrimpy APIs. As you can see, we pass in the Shrimpy public key and the Shrimpy secret key. The reason that we do this is because then the client can manage the signing of the requests to the Shrimpy servers. So you don't have to do that. It makes the process much easier and you could focus on the development. So now that we have the client, let's go ahead and create a user. So in the Shrimpy developer APIs, every exchange needs to be linked to a user. And the reason we've done this is because essentially that's how it is in the real world. Each person has an exchange account and that exchange account is really only for that one person. So in our system, we have them linked. One user can be connected to multiple exchange accounts, but every exchange account needs to be connected to a user. Great. So we have created a user with the Shrimpy APIs and you can check your user ID by just typing in the user ID there. So this is the user that has been created with Shrimpy. Now, before we can connect to exchange, we should determine which exchange it is that we want to connect to. As I mentioned earlier, I'm connecting to the Bitrix exchange. I will go ahead and create a variable here for Bitrix. It is now time to link our exchange account to the Shrimpy APIs. This will allow us to connect the balance data from the exchange account by going through the Shrimpy APIs. Now that we've linked our exchange account, we can get the ID of that exchange account. We will need this in later steps. Once we have the account ID, we can pass that back to Shrimpy to request the balance data. This looks something like this. And then we can assign the, the balances to a variable called holdings. If we print out holdings right now, we could see that it has all of the different assets. It has their native value, it has their BTC value, and their USD value. So let's calculate the total value that we have in this portfolio. 
So we can start by creating a variable for total. And then for each asset in holdings, we're going to iterate through. We're going to print out what that asset is. And then we're also going to print out the value that that asset has in our portfolio at this time. During the process, we'll sum each of the asset values. And then the last thing we have to do is just print out the total value of our portfolio. So we could do something like this. And there we have it. This portfolio is currently worth about $519. And it was as simple as that. This is something that works across 16 different exchanges that we currently support. So you can link each of your exchange accounts, you can access their balance data, you can calculate the value of your portfolio, and you can do this all with very simple Python scripts. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment in the section below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in the next video and continuing our journey for creating a crypto trading bot.